Hey y'all, we had some viewers contact us looking for some information on some basic sheet metal fab. So we're going to slow down a bit and do a little bit of a how-to. Now, if you're going to be doing any sheet metal fab to amount to anything, there's two items that you're going to want to have in the shop. And that is a sheet metal brake and a stomp shear. Now, they make these things a whole bunch of different sizes with a whole bunch of different options. We're not really going to get into a whole bunch of that, but let's go ahead and get started. Well, I grabbed us some metal out of the scrap bin so that we can do this little demonstration. Now, oftentimes, whenever you're going to do some sheet metal work, you've got your go-to tools. You've got tin snips, stomp shear, and say a plasma cutter. Now, all these tools have their benefits, but they have their drawbacks as well. With a plasma cutter, depending on your skill set, well, it's hard to get a nice straight cut. And also with the plasma torch, it leaves this slag. Now, with a stomp shear, it gives you that laser straight edge without all the grind. Now that's what you're looking for. We gotta cut these other ends off so we can move on. Well, we got our metal all squared up and what we're gonna be making is a simple box. I've gotta draw a few lines on here and then trim off the corners. It's that simple. Now we're gonna put this here in the jaws so that I can cut them corners off. With all the corners cut, now we can get to bending. That's real simple. We're just gonna lay this line up in here in this corner, bend it around. All right, now we're ready to bend up these little short flaps and we can't really just stick it here in the brake because if we did, about all we can get is about 45 degrees. So we're gonna to have to remove some of these teeth to get us where we need to go. Now we need to find a couple of teeth that are close to the same width as our metal. Hope you like it, and all it took was a few tools to make it. 